It's showtime! Yo, what up, Fight Wars? Your boy, Boxing Fanatic. I'm back with another one. Anthony Joshua versus Daniel Dubai, September 21st. It's going down. They both just coming off a spectacular win. Anthony Joshua defeated Francis Ngannou. Daniel Dubai defeated Philip Hogovic. This is something we're going to be talking about. One, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. So, Anthony Joshua and Francis Ngannou, we seen what happened in that fight. Francis Ngannou got <laughs> demolished in that fight. And um, then Dubai, he just pulled off, I think, one of the, one of, uh, 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 spectacular fight in that fight against, uh, Philip Ho Hogovich. And I felt like, you know, Daniel Dubai, he was getting hit with some big shots that, um, he can't get hit with versus, uh, Anthony Joshua because Anthony Joshua is not playing no games. And he's a big puncher. I think that's the only thing that Philip Hogovich didn't have in that fight against Daniel Dubai. I mean, he kept getting kept getting hit with that same overhand right right hand lead all night long. And if he get hit like that with Anthony Joshua, he's going to sleep. It ain't no, you know, how he was standing up to those big shots with um, Philip Hogovich. Because I mean, I mean, he's a good puncher, but he's not no puncher like Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua can correct. And um, we seen what Dane Dubai did against Big Baby Jared Miller. But he was supposed to do that because Big Baby Jared Miller, you know, had been out of the ring for about three to four years. And which I felt like Daniel Dubai was going to win that fight. And which he did win that fight. Um, he took, you know, Jared Miller to some deep waters that he ain't been in a long time knowing that Jared Miller was a pressure fighter. He threw a lot of punches for a big man. But, I mean... He ain't had no punching power. And that was the only thing that he was lacking in that in that fight. Uh, and his timing. All of that, you know, played a part in that fight against uh, Daniel Dubai. But now, you have somebody like Anthony Joshua, you know, at the top of his game. Um, we see him in big fights. He lost. He got three losses. He lost to um, Francis. I'm not Francis Ngannou, but... Uh, um, Andy Ruiz, and he lost to Alexander Uzik twice. So, but Anthony Joshua is on a six, seven. I mean, I want to say like a, yeah, probably like a four or five or six uh, fight winning streak. And he haven't lost since. So he's been putting in the work. He changed trainers. Um, he's back, you know, in the UK training in which he got, you know, uh, looked like he got Andy Lee in this corner which was a trainer for uh, Tyson Fury. But you got Daniel Dubai that's looking to dethrone the king that was, you know, champ for a long time, which he's making his way back. And ain't no telling if uh, Alexander Uzik and Anthony Joshua could do it again, you know, which I think they should be able to do it again. They both face Alexander Uzik and they both, you know, drop Alexander Uzik with a body shot, which Tyson Fury tried to do and uh, uh, replicate that same uh, strategy to Alexander Uzik, but to, to no reveal. I mean, Tyson Fury could have got him up out of there, but I felt like he let him survive, which he shouldn't have let him survive in that fight, which they're going to be fighting again come December. I'm taking Tyson Fury in that in that second fight. Uh, that's just my honest opinion. But Anthony Joshua versus Daniel Dubai. They had their press conference today. And, um, man, Anthony Joshua is the bigger guy. I think the, they both, uh, kind of got like the same kind of fighting style. I think the most elusive fighter is Daniel Dubai. He looks like he's, he's more fluent. I mean, um, but they both can crack. So ain't no telling who going to sleep, but I'm taking Anthony Joshua in this fight. Within eight rounds, if Daniel Dubai can stand up to the power, if not, then we should see you know Daniel Dubai go to sleep like um, Francis Ngannou. But 
Now, don't get it confused. Not saying that Daniel Dubai is Francis Ngannou because Daniel Dubai has skills. I mean, he got ring IQ. He got power. He got, you know, technique. Something that Francis Ngannou didn't have because he kept dropping his hand. Kept, you know, when he dropped his hand, you seen what happened. Anthony Joshua threw the right mm -hmm. hand, lead down the middle, boom, dropped him. And why would you switch in front of uh, a puncher like Anthony Joshua, which Francis Ngannou, you know, learned his lesson. And you seen what happened in that fight. But... Um, this fight right here, like I said, I'm taking Anthony Joshua, but I won't be surprised if the fight go all 12 rounds. Y'all let me know what y'all think, alright? Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. One love, one life. I'm out. Peace.